hello guys welcome to another video uh today i decided to make this video to share with you guys how to completely remove the port 8080 or access your guacamole using just port 80 and using the root directory of tomcat so we're going to remove the 8080 port and we're going to remove the guacamole as well so at the end of the day, we're just going to be able to access our guacamole instance using the IP address or if you've configured SSL um, using your uh, DNS name or your domain name. So in order for us to do this, we need to get access to our Apache guacamole command line. So if you install Apache guacamole on a VPS such as um, Amazon EC2 or Linode or Microsoft, um, you will need to get access to the command line interface. So without wasting any more time, I'm just going to go straight and head over to my command line. So once you open your terminal, the first thing you want to do is stop your um, Tomcat service from running. So you can do this by running the command sudo systemctl stop Tomcat. The next thing we're going to do is check and make sure that the Tomcat is actually stopped so once you have this done the next thing we're going to do is change our directory to the tomcat 9 directory in the lib directory so you're going to use the command cd to change your directory to var lib and then we're going to do tomcat 9 and in there there's a directory called web apps so once you're in there, you want to um, ls. I'm going to clear my screen here so we can get a better view. You can see we have three files in here. So before you continue, I want you to be careful and pay close attention because we don't want to ruin your guacamole install. So once you're in this directory, what you want to do is back up and then you delete the guacamole directory. So you can back up and let it be for me i have it backed up for now and i'm not going to delete it until we're done with the tutorial so we make sure that everything is working so the folder we want to back up here is called the guacamole folder so i'm going to use the move command and i'm going to say move guacamole to guacamole.back so the dot back just lets me remember that it is the backup for the guacamole folder that we're supposed to move or delete. Uh, make sure if you're not logged in as root, you want to run this command as sudo. Okay. If I ls again, you can see now the guacamole um, directory or folder has been changed to guacamole.back. So once you have that done, so the next thing we want to do is back up the root directory in here as well. So we're going to change it. From root to root.back. Remember, you can delete this as well, but we're going to wait until the end of the video to, to completely delete these files. That way, if we make any mistakes, we can go back and correct it. So for now, we're going to run the command sudo move root, and then we're going to change that to dot .back. So if we ls, you can see. We've changed the file name or we've backed up root, the root folder and the guacamole folder. At this point, what we want to do is rename the guacamole.war to root.war. So this is the most important part. So to do this, we're going to do the sudo and then we're going to do move again. And this time we're going to move guacamole.war. And then we'll change that to root.war. Okay. And so once you run that command, we're complete. If we do an ls here, you can see that the changes that we've made have been completed. So now at this point, before we remove those backup files, we're going to restart or start Tomcat and make sure that everything is working as we expect. So I'm going to run the command sudo systemctl start tomcat9. Okay. 
So once you have that command ran, we're going to head back over to our browser and we're going to get rid of the slash guacamole and see what happens. Now you can see we are able to access our Apache guacamole without the guacamole listed on the browser. So at this point, the last thing we need to do is make sure Apache guacamole uses port 80 instead of 8080. So in order for us to do this, we have to go back to the command line and we need to change our directory to the var slash lib slash tomcat slash conf directory. So now we're going to navigate to var slash lib tomcat9 and then the conf directory. So once you're in there, if you ls, you see that we have a couple of files in here. What we're most concerned about is the server.xml file. So if we select the server.xml file, we're going to use nano. So this is a new install. I don't think I have nano installed yet. If you use another text editor, you can use it, but I like using nano. So I'm just going to go ahead and install nano real quick. Okay. So now that that's complete, we're going to go ahead and open the server.xml file. So once you open that file, there's only one thing we need to change here. So you want to head down all the way to where it says connector port. And instead of 8080, we want to change that to just 80. And then if you save that file and we go back and restart Tomcat. If we go back to our browser now and get rid of the 8080. You see now we are able to access our Apache guacamole just using our IP address without the 8080 or the guacamole added to your IP address. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions about Apache guacamole, you can leave it down in the comment section below. Or you can head over to our Geek Together Hub community and post a question. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and have a great day.